To handle a piece like this is always a magnificent feeling. You're holding a part of history that played a part in revolutionizing China's porcelain production. And you're seeing how it got passed down through time, learning a very different part of history that it came to embody through its collectors. This March, Sotheby's is delighted to present this rare blue and white Morgan period dragon dice bowl from the Friedman family collection. When people think about Chinese porcelain, they immediately think blue and white porcelain. Really, the Ming Dynasty, especially the Yongle and Shunde period, established this iconic aesthetic. The Shunde Emperor was the fifth emperor of the Ming Dynasty, who reigned from 1425 to 1435. The peace and prosperity during his reign really gave way to the unprecedented innovation and advancement at the imperial kilns in Jingdezhen. On the interior, you see that there is a six-character reign mark of the period, and this was one of the revolutionary introductions. For the first time in China's history, the Shunde Emperor was sending court officials and eunuchs to these imperial kilns to supervise production, and this led to a great standardization of forms and designs. You see that there are two dragons striding amongst the clouds and the waves, and this was a very classic design on Shunde imperial wear. It was painted in very fine detail, and this was because the craftsman was using an updated formula of cobalt, which gave them greater freedom and control for the material. The cobalt is a very rich and deep color, which juxtaposes very nicely against the white porcelain body. This contrast, along with the thickly potted body and the powerful expressions of the dragons, really instills this piece with a sense of permanence and power. The Shunde Emperor himself was an artist and connoisseur, and he really understood the importance of the arts. Through these blue and white porcelains, he was able to quite literally and figuratively leave his mark in history. This bowl came to us from the collection of Leon and Max Friedman. They were two brothers who were aviation pioneers in the early 20th century in the United States. During their travels in Asia, they saw this huge opportunity of growth in Shanghai, and they soon established an automobile empire. They had showrooms in Hangzhou, Beijing, Shanghai, and this piece was acquired during this period. The bowl has remained in the family collection ever since. It's always exciting to see a dice bowl like this come onto the market. Many of them are housed in prestigious private and museum collections, including the National Palace Museum in Taipei, the Palace Museum in Beijing, and the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. From the painting, to the body, to the glaze, this is everything you want to see in Shunde Imperial Wear.